Thanks so much for being with us today at 4 I'm Maggie Smolka. A teenage boy was tragically killed in a house fire Monday morning in Morrisdale, and now his school district is looking to assist his family. Our Tristan Kleinfelter brings us more. 17-year-old Asher Dietz was a student at West Branch Area High School, where his classmates, teachers, and staff are now grieving. So Asher was new to the West Branch community, and he just moved here this summer. Um, but right away, he had a huge impact. Um, you know, had a great smile, a great personality. He was very, you know, likable and just had that personality that he could connect with, with any group of, of kids. One way fellow classmates are honoring Dietz is by decorating his locker with photos showing cheerful memories. It doesn't take long to make him part of the family here at West Branch. So that locker just signifies that. Um, even though he, you know, he isn't one of the students from West Branch that has gone to school here for 13 years, yeah, uh, he was infectious. The loss has been heartbreaking, leaving the community wanting to do more to help his family in any way possible. You know, the loss of Asher has had a great impact on, on our student population, on our teachers, and our whole community. Now the school district is holding a donation drive to assist his father, Aaron Keeler. And, you know, he's in need of everything. He lost everything in the fire, so we're accepting, you know, clothing and monetary donations, also gift cards. The response to the call for help has been overwhelming. No matter what the situation is and how tragic, as in this case, it may be, it doesn't take long for people to start reaching out. Uh, being as small as what we are, uh, mm -hmm. It, it can be uh, both positive and, and a challenge because when something like this happens in a small community, everybody's affected. But in the reverse, or the alternative is that when it is small like this, everybody pitches in, everybody comes together, so. The school has even had outside communities offer help, such as Montgomery County College and Claysburg Kimmel to show support. In Clearfield County, Tristan Kleinfelter, WTAJ News.